Caitlin Kraska. I'm having trouble placing you two. Were we in student council together? No, we were the poor kids you ridiculed in art class. What she means is that she wants a kind of kid. I had issues with my privilege in my, in my youth. Sorry. I had issues with my privilege in my youth. Can I use this card? I'm just trying to play. I'm so sorry. No, I know it. Okay. I don't. Watch me not even need this now. Okay. Should we start from the beginning then? Okay. I'm having trouble placing you two. Were we in student council together? No, we were the poor kids you ridiculed in art class. What she means is that she wants a kind of kid. I had a lot of issues with my privilege in my youth. I am so sorry that I treated you so unfairly. Excuse me? It's what I tell my inner city outreach program students. Just because someone has more money than you doesn't mean they deserve more respect. Hey, don't you have a monologue? I do. Sure. You know what, there's a, another thing which, um, I don't know if you want to maybe go out and have a look at it and then maybe come back in a minute, but Athena? Uh, there's a character I, toward the end. Yeah, I can read. Okay. I looked and over it. Yeah. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Then yeah, let's read Athena. Okay. You're tall. <laughs> <good. laughs> it's the heels. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, if you want to page six. Okay. Um, oh, Are you all ready? Okay. Okay. Athena's foot. Do you need help? No, just drop my uh Oh. Having a good night? I've had better. Expectations too high? Something like that. Juliana stands back up, flips the vial into her purse. Me too. I was hoping to meet someone tonight. She didn't show. Probably too busy seeing a saving a used puppy. I wouldn't know. I couldn't look her up on anywhere online. It's like she doesn't exist. Do you know a Juliana Russellini? A who? I had such a crush on her. We were in homeroom together. She always smelled like peppermint. The kids made fun of her because she had couldn't brush her teeth with chewing gum. I always thought it was cute. She had a freckle on her cheek that made her look like Madonna on her little hardcover. Okay. And then you can do your monologue. Okay. You remember that old dog, Nancy? Cuthbert kept her tied up in the front lawn all day. Daddy always meant to report him. He didn't give her any water, so I'd sneak down and I, with my squirt gun, and I'd shoot water in her mouth and she'd bark. And one day while Cuthbert was downtown, I decided to untie her so she could run around a little bit, but she darted straight into the road, just as Daddy's pickup was coming around the curve, and he didn't see her, and he plowed right into her. Do you remember how Daddy and I came through the back door, Mama, and Nancy was just hanging out of his arms like a set of broken up bagpipes? And Daddy laid her on the floor and she was breathing real heavy and the pain was just humming off of her like you could hear it. She just let the pain consume her and that's all she was, just this pained thing. And Daddy was bent over her, talking real quiet. And then all of a sudden Nancy stood up like it was a new day and she was barking and running around clicking her nails on the tile like she wasn't just half dead a second ago. She was like a fireball for three minutes until she got tired again and crawled up by the sink and went to sleep and died. Like it all meant nothing. Do you remember how that all happened, Mama? It's weird. Everything else is gone to me, but that silly old dog popped into my head. Thank you. It's Tyree, he's only got a little part. <laughs> All right, yeah, we can uh, hear some more lines in a second. Yeah, so we'll read Tyree, and then um, if you have a monologue, we can do that after. All right, let's do that. Um, I'll have you say your full name and take a camera. Oh, our camera's right here. Um, Zachary Knight. Three guests, Tyree, Quan, and Alejandra, sit down at the table. 
We still have a ways to go, but we're managing to shift the GOP's attitude to put a carbon tax on power plants. Thank goodness, if we can get politics on the right side, us first responders can start preparing for the country for more man-made natural disasters. And you have the scientists back their funding. We're so close to completing an artificial tree. Doors and rakes rolled over the glass, they all noticed. We're in science together. Maybe dissect frogs even though I have PTSD from seeing my entire aquarium murdered by a homing bird. You locked me in a closet during a fire drill because I studied it on history presentation. Well, that was a while ago. We've all grown up and moved on from middle school, right? Uh, so I don't have a monologue, but I do know some Shakespeare that I have um, memorized. <laughs> Forgive me if it's not if it's not perfect. Um, for, no, it's Romeo and Juliet. I'm going cliche. Um, all right, all right. Let me. But soft, what light through yonder window breaks? It is the east, and Juliet is the sun. Arise, fair sun, and kill the envious moon, which is already sick and pale with grief, that thou art maid art far more fair than she. Be not her maid, since she is envious. Her vestal livery is but sick and green, and none but fools do wear it. Cast it off. It is my lady. Oh, it is my love. Oh, that she knew she were. She speaks, yet she says nothing. What of that? Her eye discourses. I will answer it. Tis not to me she speaks, but to the fairest star and all the heavens, having some business do entreat her eyes, to twinkle in spheres till they return. But if her eyes were there, they in her head, the brightness of her cheeks would shame those stars. You see us? Ah, I forgot the rest of it. But you get the point of it. I forgot the rest of it. But my name is Zachary. All right. All right, cool. Yana Rain. Athena's foot class, foot class into a class coming in. Do you need help? No, this got my bad. Oh. Having a good night? I've had better. Expectations too high? Something like that. <sighs> Me too. I was hoping to meet someone tonight and she didn't show. Probably too busy singing saving abused puppies. I wouldn't know. I couldn't look her up anywhere online. It's like she doesn't exist. Do you know Juliana Rossellini? Uh, who? I had such a crush on her. We were in homeroom together. She always smelled like peppermint. The kids made fun of her because she had a ruptured tooth with chewing gum. I always thought it was cute. She had a freckle on her cheek. Um, made her look like... Madonna on the Rebel Star cover? Uh, sure. Um, can I put that down? Yeah. It's by um, Anna Gorish, uh, Individuality of Street Lamps. You know, last weekend I went out with some friends to that new jazz place for a few drinks. Um, I've been there a couple of hours and I've noticed I wasn't even really a part of the conversation. I had no significant other to gripe about. I, um, of course, started thinking about you. Later that night, I found myself sitting in my porch swing with my headphones on. I was just still thinking about you. Uh, I kept hoping I'd see your car that you would um, stop by. <laughs> Next thing I knew, the porch swing was hanging by one chain and I was on the ground. And I just, I just felt completely ridiculous. But, but it was at that point I knew that you had really married Amanda, that, that you were never coming back. Apparently the, the swing knew it all along, so if all I was gonna do was sit there and feel sorry for myself and feel alone, it would just, it just wasn't gonna have me. I oh, always miss you, but I, 
I'm gonna have to learn to live with that because I cannot live with you. And I know that. And, and I think, I think you do too. And that only leaves one option. So five and six? Yeah. And then if you could just look in the camera and put your full name. Including middle name, because I got two of them. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm Olivia Dibb. Oh, yeah, I'm short. I'm sorry. <laughs> Normally it's only an inconvenience to me. Or poor people I asked for help in the grocery store. <laughs> Five one. Mm -hmm. All right, so Juliana Dolores for four for Blizzard and two for Monterey. Who are they to say we've moved on? Of course we have. Look at us. You, I'll take this. You get everyone together for this trip. Juliana, which one is your flower? We are doing this. It's our destiny. Understand? Destiny, right? Vengeance. It's just. Don't make me call Supreme Leader. You wouldn't. Don't fuck with me. Praise Zorg. Praise Zorg. Athena's footsteps took back as they crossed the window. Do you need help? No, just drop my pad. Oh. Having a, having a good night? I've had better. Expectations too high? That was, you know. Oh. Sorry. Something like that. William stands up, flips the vial to her first. Me too. I was hoping to meet someone tonight who didn't even show. Probably too busy saving puppies. I wouldn't know. I couldn't look her up online anywhere. It's like she doesn't exist. You know a Juliana Rosalini? A who? I had such a crush on her. We were always in home together. She always smelled like peppermint. The kids made fun of her because she had to brush her teeth with gum. I always thought she was cute. She had a freckle on her cheek that made her look like... She kept Juliana being murdered in the town of Buffalo. Madonna on the Rebel Heart cover? Hmm. Then did you have a monologue you wanted to do? I do have one. Okay, whenever you're ready. Okay. Can I introduce her at the beginning of the Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so I'm going to be doing Susan from F South. Would you like me to look at the camera or can you tell me? Juilliard. That's where I'm studying now. The best roles. Miss Julie, Blanche, every one of the three sisters. Some student films for NYU, so I have some experience being under the lights. I like the lights. Would you like me to do a monologue? I know all types. Comic, tragic, black comedy, Neil Simon, Beckett, realistic lyricalism, lyrical realism, you name it, I got it. And I do it good. Real good. Better than just about anyone. Now, I wanted to talk to you about the physicality you said you were looking for. I do just happen to be versed in Taekwondo, and I have a black belt in Wei or Karate. That's the Okinawan school. My older brother practically went into a state of nirvana when Kung Fu premiered on American TV. It was grasshopper this, grasshopper that. Personally, I was about ready to throttle grasshopper when my attitude was adjusted when I was jumped one afternoon by three acne-encrusted boys who fondled me and then ran off. So I became a disciple as well. I'm pretty flexible from ballet, so I can certainly make foot to head contact. Though not actual contact, as we all know, it's just the illusion we're after. Now I understand you're looking for someone to play Tiffany Jones, a voluptuous, kickboxing, platinum haired CEO, 25 years of age, who single handedly takes on the Singapore mafia when they try to launder money and run drugs through the Fortune 500 company she built from the ground up. You know, seldom have I connected to a role as I am connecting to this one. I know this woman. I feel her pain. Tiffany is every woman. 
every woman is Tiffany. Gentlemen, I'm ready to read for you now. But first, may I ask that you make these lights a little brighter?